Hello to all you lovely human beings and welcome back to a brand new Cursed Out video. Today we are doing loot from 1000 Vintage Trinket Boxes, parentheses, Summer. Now these can only be obtained in one way. You go here to the event reward chest for the 2024 Summer event, you use some tokens and you hope that you get yourself a Vintage Trinket Box. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I don't even know what's in these, but before we get into these, let's talk about today's giveaway. For today's giveaway, we're gonna be doing 20 trillion GP. All you gotta do to apply for that is like the video, comment your in-game name in the comment section, and be subscribed. And if you're new or a returning player, if you could type when you get into the game, if you're if you're joining and you wanna use my link below, if you type colon colon ref and use code cursed, you get some, uh, oh, you get some cool stuff like my party hat and my flowers. These, are, these are, are custom cosmetics only for my sub, so use my code. Anyways, folks, without further ado, let's get into the loot video. So without further ado, let's get into these bad boys. Ooh, okay. Lunar sets are back. Solar sets are back. Oh, and boots. Can these be? Yes, nice. Okay. Ooh, a lot of lunars. Hmm, okay, interesting. Eternal boots, summer primordial boots, summer pigation boots. These are the best in slot boots for PVM in these scenarios. I'm pretty sure summer prims are also best in slot for uh for pvp too yeah 2.5 percent damage bonus in pvp are they all 2.5 percent damage bonus in pvp oh they are okay so all these boots are pretty damn good if you're only using one specific type of attack let's get back into it interesting this inventory was the opposite of the last one where we got way more summers than we did lunars look at that it reversed again more more uh more lunars and summers solars not summers a lot of a lot of summer eternals there all right let's speed it up from here wow look at that no pagasians in that entire inventory that's weird i'm wondering if these are weighted differently i mean because right now i mean rng is very possible to just be happening here but the eternals are way outweighing the pagasians i'm wondering if they're over released over the other ones So I actually don't know what the Lunar and Solar Infinity does. I think it's just like like a slightly better Arams maybe? Let's check. Hold on. So they are better than Arams and they're cosmetically great. They have better defense. I'm wearing Arams by the way. Um, they have better defense bonuses. They have better attack bonuses as well. I wonder if there's any difference between... No, there's no difference between the Solar and the Lunar. But aesthetically cool and a slightly better robe. By the way, if you're wondering how these sets look, I think they look pretty damn cool. This is the Lunar set, Lunar Infinity. Very nice, let's look at the Solar Infinity. Sick too. Here's the, oh wait, let me let me get some, some. there we go. There's our Pagasian boots, there's our Eternal boots, and no Primordials in this inventory, but I'll grab the Primordials out. And those are the Prims, they look, they look pretty cool. I mean, obviously they go better with different sets, right? Like, you can barely see the tip of the foot there, but it looks cool anyway. And we go back to it. Last inventory here, and then we will go into the bank, we'll organize, and then we will price check. Okay, this is our loot. Let's organize it real quick. Very nice. Okay, it's looking to me like they're all evenly weighted. But let's do a price check anyway based on all the loot that we got and see how much these are worth each. Okay, I have some interesting mathematics to go over here. So what I found is that these infinity pieces of each set have the same price. Like all the lunar infinity pieces are worth the same. All the solar infinity pieces are worth the same as each other. And then we have a different thing going on with the boots. So. We have 122 Lunar Infinity Hats, 116 Lunar Infinity Tops, 108 Lunar Infinity Legs, which is 346 pieces. Now these go for about 150 billion GP each. This is 51.9 trill right here. Solar Infinity pieces for some reason are going for a bit more at 200 billion each, I guess because it's more like summery and you know people are PKing in it and they, they think it's cool. That's what I'm going with. Uh, there's 102 Solar Hats, 112 
solar bodies, 105 solar legs at 200 bill each, which is 319 pieces at 63.8 trill. Summer Eternals are much less than I thought they were. There's 126 of these at 70 bill each, which is 8.8 .8 trill. 96 Summer Primordials at 120 bill each at 11.5 trill total there. And 113 Summer Pegasians. I didn't realize these were this much. They're about 250 bill each, which is 28.25 trill right there. So all in all, all the loot is worth 164.2 trill, putting the value at the vintage trinket box parentheses, summer clothes parentheses at 164 bill per box, which is around what they're selling for in the TP. I think they're a bit more right now, 195. Yeah, that, that's not bad at all. So that's about what you should expect from 1000 vintage trinket box summers. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, get yourself a... Uh, on this mom BK for the event, it's a good time. You can get these little boots, you can get these little outfits, and also, you know, you could you could end up with maybe a set of these, or maybe like a an icon of sorts. Ooh, ooh la la, fun stuff. Cool pets have been re-released. Uh, the event is really good money per hour. It's up to a trillion GP per hour when you have the max event gear, which is not that hard to obtain. So, folks, thank you so much for watching. Remember to apply for the giveaway. What you gotta do, like the video, comment your in-game name in the comment section to be subscribed. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate every single last one of you. Cursed out, signing out. Goodbye.